so what I do, you know, there's a lot of behind the scenes work, you know, for a mass to happen, I'd say. Um, help set up for the mass, you know, altar, chalice, everything, all the altar linens and everything. I just simply volunteered. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. But, you know, after that experience, I remember, I'm like, I want to do this for the rest of my life. I just love doing this so much, you know. To me, that I'm just in awe over that sometimes, you know, you're reading. You're reading God's words to the congregation. That's what I really like. You know, I'd say I'm quite un unusual here because I, I particularly uh, like public speaking. I know I've heard that many people, uh, I've heard it's true that many people would rather die than get up and speak to a hundred people. But, you know, hey, I don't mind it. I rather enjoy it. The original way I got into it was through stage crew my freshman year. I did that, and in the spring they needed someone to run their, to run the spotlight for the spring musical into AV Club, and I've just grown from there, learned from them, and now I'm the president of AV Club for the past couple years. Always as a kid I've kind of been interested in the sound and just technical aspects of shows, but I never got into it at my old school. And after volunteering as the spotlight, I just realized how cool that stuff is, and just um, how interesting and how integral part of the show you are and how I kind of have huge stage fright so still being able to be a big part of the show without being seen was pretty cool to me. I'm not someone who likes uh, a lot of focus on me so just knowing that I was part of the show and that I knew that and people close to me knew it was enough for me. I've, yes, I'm managing lacrosse and I, um, I do all their home games with the scoreboard, do the announcements. Just not, I'm not really the athletic kind of guy. I'm not really built to be athletic, but when I wanted to, after that, I figured out why I could help out. So freshman year, I started helping out our JV basketball team, and then I liked it so much because I've always wanted to be involved, like work in the sports field as I got older. So once I found out this managing, it really hit me, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. And now, you know, I started, like every year, I started doing more and more, and I've loved it so much. You know, you make great relationships with your teammates like I have great relationships with the guys in lacrosse I like the intensity I like the you know how especially like close games a lot I like how I'm um, just like the energy in the whole stadium the people the fans like when I do basketball games one of our biggest games of the year is when we host St. Francis and we have the whole the majority of the student body come out I like to be active I like to be doing stuff I don't like to be the guy singing homes like the day just drags I like to be busy I started baseball my freshman year. I did water polo, soccer, and swimming my um, junior year. You know, I started baseball, baseball since I was um, in, since I was like six years old, and uh, I um, I was we started playing baseball, and um, I was never good, so I started umpiring. I was never good at that too, so I started doing keeping stats, and I was good at that, and I liked it, so I kept on pursuing it. When we were first starting, trying to get, to get into it, like know the people, like I was um kind of a shy kid, so I didn't we went I'm and I was to go into group and start talking. I'm good, better on one on one, and after a while you get to know each other and then you plan to get um to um interact with the team more and they get to know you and you get to know them and life goes on.